The rebellion was achieved much earlier and more easily than anyone expected. Mr Jones had been drinking heavily. For whole days at a time, he would lounge in his chair in the kitchen, neglecting the farm. His men were idle and dishonest. The fields were full of weeds. The buildings wanted roofing. The animals were underfed. On Midsummer's Eve, a Saturday, Mr Jones went into Willingdon. His men also left the farm soon after, without bothering to feed the animals. Mr Jones got very drunk at the Red Lion. It was midday on Sunday when he finally returned to the farmhouse, where he immediately went to sleep on the drawing room sofa. By Sunday evening, the animals could bear it no longer. They began gathering outside the store shed. One of the cows forced open the door with her horn. Mr Jones woke up and called his men. They rushed to the store shed with whips in their hands and began lashing out in all directions. Without having planned it beforehand, the animals fought back. Jones and his men suddenly found themselves being butted and kicked from all sides. The situation was quite out of their control. The men had never seen animals behave like this before. This sudden uprising frightened them out of their wits. After only a moment or two, they gave up trying to defend themselves and took to their heels. A minute later, all five men were in full flight down the cart track that led to the main road, with the animals pursuing them in triumph. Mrs Jones looked out of the bedroom window and saw what was happening. She hurriedly flung a few possessions into a carpet bag and slipped out of the farm by another way. Moses, the pet raven, sprang off his perch and flapped after her, croaking loudly. Meanwhile, the animals chased Jones and his men out onto the road and slammed the five-bar gate behind them. The rebellion was complete. We've won! The farm is ours.